Gopher fans, this is what we've all been waiting for. The season has arrived. The 2013 college football season is set to kick off as the Minnesota Golden Gophers host the UNLV Rebels here from TCF Bank Stadium. These teams also met last year in the season opener in which Minnesota was victorious in three overtimes. And today we'll see the debut of Harry Kane Sr. as the head coach of the Minnesota Golden Gophers football squad. Opening kickoff will be very shortly as we welcome you to another season of Minnesota Gophers football. Here we go. The season is about to get underway as the Gophers will kick off. And Chris Hawthorne gets us started. There's the boot deep to UNLV. And it's Marcus Sullivan from his own four-yard line. On the near side now working his way to the sideline. Met of the 26 and driven out of bounds where UNLV will set up shop. The offense for the Rebels led by sophomore quarterback Nick Sherry on first down. Here's the first play from scrimmage all season. Hand off to Tim Cornett up the middle. Finds a little bit of space, maybe a gain of two. And now second down and eight. Back to Cornett. Counter play to the outside out of the shotgun. He's got a little bit of space and he will get enough for the first down. And now Sherry back to throw for the first time. Under pressure, he gets a throw off to Phillips who makes the catch towards the first down marker. A gain of nine. Second and short out of the shotgun, hand off. This time it's Herring up the middle. He breaks the tackle in Gophers territory across the 30. Finally taken down by Shabazz inside the Gophers 30. Call it a gain of 26 yards. Good job running the ball so far for the Rebels. They're out of the shotgun again on first and 10. Hand off to Adonis Smith. Up the middle, a solid gain of 7 yards. And now third down in inches, the Gophers stack the box. Hand off to Adonis Smith, up the middle, hit hard inside the 10, but it's a first down, a gain of 11. Great drive so far for UNLV. Back to the ground, it's Smith, up the middle, but met by Damian Wilson, the middle linebacker. It's a loss of two yards. And now a big third down and goal. Can the Gophers hold on to three? Sherry, back to throw, now fires, end zone! Touchdown, Devontae Davis, and the Rebels have struck first. On their first possession, UNLV goes right down the field. A very impressive drive that ends in a 10-yard score. And now we'll see the Gophers offense for the first time this season. Led by sophomore quarterback Philip Nelson. First down, hand out to the junior running back to Nell Kirkwood up the middle. That's a gain of three yards. Starting wideouts are Devin Crawford Tufts and Isaac Frickty, and Nelson will throw on second and seven. Quickly, it's caught by Devin Crawford Tufts with the first down marker, a gain of nine, and the chains will move on Nelson's first throw of the season. Keep in mind that Philip Nelson is making his eighth start in his career today. Play action on second and eight. Nelson fires downfield. It's caught by Crawford Tufts in Rebel territory. A gain of 24 off the play action. Nelson settling in so far on this first possession. And now a toss outside to Kirkwood. Looking for room. There's not much. He might pick up one or two yards. On second down, the Gophers have a three wide set. James Gillum in the backfield. Nelson. It's a swing screen to James Gillum. He's hit and loses the football. And the Rebels have recovered. UNLV will take over as the Gophers turn the ball over on their first possession of the 2013 season. UNLV was impressive on their first possession. Let's see what they can do now. They have a seven point lead in the football again. Second down for Sherry. Underneath it's caught by Tim Cornett. Runs through a defender and he has the first down, a gain of seven. Cornett to Sherry's left, two receivers left as well. And Sherry fakes the handoff, goes up the middle. Manuel tries to strip, but he can't. Sherry breaks the tackle in open field, across the 20, and he's finally caught from behind. A big run for Nick Sherry, as James Manuel went for the strip instead of a sure tackle. UNLV threatening to go up two scores in this one. Sherry fakes the handoff, and there's Rashid Hageman. A loss of four in the backfield. And now facing third down and eight. Here's Sherry back to throw on third down. Outside, caught by Herring at the one yard line out of bounds, but it's a first down and goal. At the one yard line, hand off, it's Cornette. Looking to go outside, he's in. Touchdown, UNLV, they're up 13 nothing. A great start here on the road. Minnesota has to silence some of this momentum. Hand off to Kirkwood on first and 10. He breaks the tackle on the right, and he'll work his way for about five yards. And now second down for Philip Nelson, back to throw. Nelson fires, and it's Crawford Tufts. He can't make the catch at the 40-yard line. It's third and five. And three wide for Nelson. It's McDonald in the slot, and Nelson's back to throw. Good protection, fires, and it's caught by Frickty. But he looked to be a yard shy, and they will mark him shy. Three and out for the Gophers. Couldn't ask for a better start if you're UNLV. A 14-0 lead. The Gophers' defense has not stopped them yet. And here's Cornette on second and 10. Stumbling after a stiff arm, a gain of five. 
And now it's Sherry to throw on third down, and he throws it away, and this is going to be a three and out, and so the Gophers' defense does answer. 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. It's second down and 10. Nelson drops back and now fires over the middle. Short, it's caught by Isaac Fricke. That'll be a gain of six yards. And third down and four. Too wide for Nelson to throw outside. Caught by Fricke in UNLV territory. A gain of 12 and move the chains. Gophers in UNLV territory for the second time today. Hand off to Kirkwood up the middle. He breaks one tackle, trying to stay on his feet. A gain of eight yards, solid tough running. And now on second and short, it's Kirkwood again up the middle. Breaks a tackle at the 30th first down the gain of seven. Good running by Kirkwood. And first down and 10 for Nelson. Here's the blitz, he gets the throw off. A jump ball for McDonald. He's got an 18 yard gain inside the 15. McDonald definitely bailed out Nelson on that one. A jump ball, McDonald wins, first down of the 12. And now on first down and 10, Nelson back to pass. To the end zone, Rick D, touchdown! The Gophers have answered back. 12 yards from Philip Nelson to Isaac Rick D, who tiptoed the sideline. It's a touchdown for the Gophers. They're down 14 to six here in the second quarter. And we'll see it here one more time. A quick corner route to the end zone. Fricky was wide open, and that's the Gophers' first touchdown of the season. 14-7, UNLV still on top. We'll see if they go back to their ground game. Indeed they do. It's Cornette up the middle. Breaking tackle, staying on his feet. 10 yards. Great running by Tim Cornette in this first half. He's here again on third and one. First down, he breaks a tackle in Gopher territory. Tough to take down a gain of nine. Third down, and the Gophers will play off. Fake the handoff, and Sherry throws deep, and there's no one there. That's going to be a three and out as the Gophers' defense holds again. Minnesota trying to steal the momentum from UNLV after a strong start by the Rebels. Now it's 14-7, going for football. Nelson on second down, and he's under pressure and dropped for a loss of six. After the sack by Tyler Gaston, it's third down and 16 yards for Nelson. Good protection this time as he fires it long, and it's picked off by Kenny Keyes at the 46-yard line. It'll be UNLV football in Gopher territory. That is Nelson's first interception on the season. The Rebels have it just shy of the 40-yard line. Sherry back to throw to the sideline. Caught by Davis. He's in bounds again at 15. And now the Gophers blitz. Hand off to Cornette. But there's Rashid Hageman. It's a loss of one in the backfield by the stout defensive tackle. Gophers set the Rebels at third down and seven. Sherry hands off to Adonis Smith. Up the middle, he has the first down and more. And it's a 14-yard gain for Smith. UNLV has been very dominant with this ground attack. And now here's Cornette again. Inside the five. And he's taken down shy of the goal line. Big third down and two for UNLV. Sherry back to pass. To the end zone. Phillips drops it. That was a sure touchdown catch, and he just dropped it. UNLV is going for it on fourth down and two. Cornette in motion, hand up the middle, and Cornette is met, and he loses a yard, and it's a turnover on downs. The Gophers defense holds strong, and it was James Manuel ensuring that this would not be a touchdown for UNLV, and it's still 14-7. And we'll go to the half, UNLV up over the Minnesota Gophers, 14-7, a very fast start for UNLV, but Minnesota has come back to cut the lead in half, We'll have the second half up next, and the Gophers will have the football to be in the third quarter. Ready to get the Jones second half underway. Down. Here's the boot deep from Cohorst, and back is Marcus Jones at his own one-yard line for the Gophers. Going right up the middle. Not much room met at the 20, and that's where the Gophers will set up shop. The UNLV defense held the Gophers to only seven points in the first half and collected two turnovers, but we'll see what the second half has to offer. Hand off to Kirkwood on the counter outside. He can't find any room. A great tackle, a loss of one. And now three wide for Philip Nelson. He fakes the handoff, now looks to throw. Over the middle, it's caught by Fricky. Wide open, a first down after the catch, just shy of the 35. McDonald the slot right as Nelson throws on second down. Slant over the middle, cut by Crawford. Tufts evades the defender, a gain of 16 in the Rebel territory. And they're going to go to a three wide set again. Nelson with the hard count, and it looks like the guard jumped, and the Gophers will back up five yards. And now it's first down and 15. Nelson rolling, now fires outside as Kirkwood out of the backfield. He'll lose another four yards. And now the Gophers face second down and 19. Three wide for Nelson. And UNLV sends four. Here's the throw from Nelson. It's picked off again. 
This time it's Kenneth Penny at about midfield in a Gopher territory. And another turnover for the Gophers. Their third in the game, the second interception from Philip Nelson. And UNLV will take over. Excellent job by both the UNLV offense and defense. It's first down and 10. Read option, Sherry keeps it. He has blocks in the secondary, across the 30, and hit down to the 25-yard line, but it's a gain of 20 yards. And now first and 10, Minnesota sends the blitz. Sherry gets the throw off to the sideline, and Devontae Davis inside the 10, called a gain of 18. And they just keep executing very well. First down for Sherry. Over the middle, Davis all alone, touchdown! Seven yards to Devontae Davis off the slant, and UNLV is now up 20-7 to over the Golden Gophers, and they just simply look very strong. And so UNLV will kick off now with a 14-point lead, and Marcus Jones out of his own end zone, he's going to take it out. On the near side, he picks up a couple blocks, across the 30, to the 40, down the sideline, shoved out of bounds after a return of 50 yards. A great return, now can the Gophers do anything with it? Hand off to Kirkwood, trying to go outside, he'll lose two yards in the process. A very pivotal third down for the Gophers. UNLV sends the blitz, Nelson gets a throw off, and it's caught by Kirkwood, and he steamrolls a defender, first down, Gophers! We gotta see that one again. Nelson in the face of pressure, hits Kirkwood on the sideline, and he just trucked through a defender. And that reminds me of another Minnesota running back. And now first down and 10. Nelson out of the gun. It's a read option. He'll keep it. Nelson can run a little bit. He has the first down, then slides. A big third down again for Minnesota. Down by two scores. They need seven. Nelson over the middle. Cut by McDonald at the 10-yard line. First down, Gophers. And now an eye formation. Hand off to Kirkwood. Trying to go outside. Runs through a defender. Not much room. Maybe a gain of two. Now on third and goal, Crawford tufts in motion. Nelson back to throw, fires to the end zone. Goodger has it, but he hit the back line and he did not get a foot down. Incomplete pass. Here's the replay and it was very close, but he was on that white line. The Gophers will settle for a field goal. Here's Chris Hawthorne's first attempt of the season. It's up and through and it's 21 to 10. Minnesota cutting into this lead a little bit. It's now 11. Here's Cornet on second and eight and not much room this time, only a gain of one. And now a third down and seven. Can Minnesota get their offense back out there? Sherry buys time, now fires, and Devontae Davis has it for a 14-yard completion. This offense has been mainly Cornette and Davis today, and here's Cornette again up the middle. He cuts to the outside and makes a man miss. Now inside the Gophers, 40, a 17-yard run. On the edge of field goal range now. Sherry fakes the handoff, and now fires outside. It's almost picked off by Derek Wells, and it's second down now. 128 to play in the third quarter. Hands off to Cornett, trying to find some room outside. He gets room with a block. Now across the 20, inside the 15, a 25-yard gain. If the Rebels score a touchdown, it's once again a three-score game. And Sherry off the keeper, outside. He stiff arms the defender, inside the five. Touchdown, Rebels. 27 to 10, as Nick Sherry takes this in, and we're almost to the fourth quarter. UNLV giving Minnesota a beatdown right now as there's really not much time left in this game. Almost to the fourth quarter, here's Marcus Jones out of the end zone. Hoping to spark this Gophers team as he finds the room across the 30. To the 40, tries to cut, and he's taken down at the 45. If the Gophers are to get back in this game, they better do so quickly. Nelson on second down. Pat Short is caught by Fricky. First down in UNLV territory and out of bounds. And now 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Nelson fakes the slant and now is sacked in the backfield for a loss of nine. Things are not looking good for the Gophers. Only time for one more play in the third quarter. Nelson to throw. Over the middle, it's caught by McDonald. Shy of the first down marker, but it is a solid gain of 15 yards. And we will head to the fourth quarter where the Gophers are down by 18. We'll see if they can make a final push to get back in this game. The Gophers need to display a sense of urgency. Only one quarter left. Nelson over the middle. McDonald has the catch. He picks up a couple blocks to the 10-5. Andre McDonald is in. 35 yards for the score. Exactly what Minnesota needed. Now only down by 12 points. Minnesota is back in this game. A nice catch and run by McDonald. Perfectly set up with two blocks. And now we'll see if the defense can do their part. Minnesota will go for two to try to make this a 10-point game. Nelson back to throw. Quickly under pressure, he's dropped, and Minnesota will still be down by 12. The Gophers' defense needs some stops. 
First and 10 out of the pistol. Sherry fakes the handoff. Read option to the outside. Sherry has space. First down and more across the 30, taken down for a gain of 15. And UNLV is continuing to run the ball very effectively. And here's Sherry again. Breaks out of Hageman's tackle, but there's Wilson to take him down from behind a gain of zero. UNLV goes three wide, snap to Sherry, he'll throw. In the pocket outside, and Sullivan has the catch, and he'll have the first down. The Rebels in Minnesota territory, Cornette in motion. Sherry back to pass outside, caught by Herring, he'll be close to the first down, it's another conversion for the Rebels. Six minutes and 26 seconds to go. Sherry hands off to Smith, looking to go outside, he breaks a tackle at the 40, but then he's taken down, it'll be third and medium. They need five yards. Have to get to about the Minnesota 35, a little bit beyond. And Sherry will pass. Outside, he's got a man open deep, and it's caught by Killian inside the 20. It's a 26-yard gain. Looked like blown coverage by Derek Wells as he got caught up with Shabazz. They left Killian all alone. Minnesota's mindset now has to be that they can't allow anything more than a field goal. Sherry running the option outside to Smith. He'll lose two yards. Great play by Balthazar. But now third down and seven. Huge down for the Rebels. Sherry back to pass. Dumps it off to Phillips. Up to the five. Stiff arm and he has the first down shy of the goal line. First and goal. UNLV looking to punch it in. First down and goal and Sherry will throw. To the end zone. Picked off by Demarius Travis. In the end zone the Gophers have it. The hope is still alive. I'm not sure Sherry even saw the safety lurking back there. Minnesota's not out of this game. They're only down by 12 with five minutes to play. Hand off to Kirkwood. He has room off the edge. Great blocks beyond the 30. Out of bounds, a gain of 15. Three wide formation for Nelson as he makes an adjustment. And now he hands off at the middle. It's Kirkwood finding some room. He has the first down, a gain of five. And Minnesota has all three timeouts, and Nelson will throw on first down. Over the middle. It's Crawford tough wide open in UNLV territory. 17 more. A split shotgun look now for Nelson as he has two backs to his left and right and Nelson steps up and now looks to take off. And he's caught from behind but he picks up seven. Important for Nelson not to take any sacks or have any negative plays on this drive. Now third and three. Nelson dumps it off to Williams and he's stopped immediately for a loss of one. It's fourth down. The hopes for Minnesota right on this fourth down conversion attempt. Split shotgun for Nelson. Here's the blitz from the Rebels. He gets the throw off to Roderick Williams, who's close to the first down marker, and he has just enough. A very close conversion for Minnesota, but a conversion nonetheless. Now a new set of downs. Dumped off to McDonald. A block from Crawford Tufts. Inside the five. Touchdown, Gophers. Andre McDonald, his second touchdown. And both of these touchdowns have been short throws where receivers set up blocks. Great play for Minnesota. We have a one-score game. At the beginning of this quarter, it was 28 to 10. Minnesota scored in the first play of the fourth quarter and just in the last possession. It's a five point game and Nick Sherry on first down will throw. Outside to Williams, he's met immediately. It's a one yard game. UNLV running clock, but Minnesota does have all three timeouts. Sherry to throw on second down, fires to the sideline and Williams can make the catch. Great coverage by Damian Wilson. It's third and nine. The Gophers faithful gets loud on third and nine. And Sherry back to throw. Two minutes to play. Outside. And it's almost intercepted. The pass is incomplete. Martez Shabazz fourth down. They have the chance to pull off the comeback. Under two minutes to go. And here's the punt. Back deep is Marcus Jones. At about the 37-yard line, he feels the kick goes up the middle, a gain of maybe seven or eight. The Gophers have to score a touchdown and go about 54 yards downfield to do so. Nelson on first down, it's cup of the tight end. Drew Goodger underneath a nine-yard gain on the drag. The Gophers can take their time a little bit now in UNLV territory. Here's Gillum, wide open running lane, makes a cut to the outside. James Gillum all the way to the 31-yard line. Plenty of time for Minnesota, minute 10. Hand off to James Gillum, off tackle to the left. Has room across the 25, out of bounds, a gain of nine. And now second down and one. Hand off to Roderick Williams, up the middle with room, inside the 10, Roderick to the five, a gain of 18 yards, and a Gophers first down. And now Minnesota is only five yards away from taking the lead, first down and goal. Nelson off the play fake, back to pass, end zone, Crawford Tufts, touchdown Gophers! They have taken the lead, and they have completed the comeback! It was a little dangerous throw by Nelson, but there was Crawford Tufts, and the Gophers are now on top, 
by one point. Another two point conversion attempt to make it a three point game. Nelson back to pass and he fires behind his running back. It's incomplete, but the Gophers do have the lead. Only 12 seconds remain. Minnesota up by one. UNLV has at their own 23 yard line. Out of the gun, Sherry will throw. Over the middle, short, it's caught by Harry. That's a gain of maybe nine yards. And now nine seconds remain. Two more timeouts for UNLV, it's third and four. Sherry back to throw. He'll fire outside, but he overthrows his target. And now there's only five seconds left. For UNLV, the game rides on this fourth down and four play. Five seconds remain. Here's the shotgun snap to Sherry. Now he steps up in the pocket and heaves it long. And it's picked off by Demarius Travis. And the Gophers have won the football game. What a thriller here from Minneapolis as the Gophers have taken this first game of the season. An 18-point incredible comeback. Nelson had two interceptions early, but came through in the clutch. Three touchdown passes in the third quarter, and the Gophers have stolen this game from the UNLV Rebels. And if there was a play that changed this game, it was definitely when UNLV chose to throw on first down and goal from the one-yard line, and Demarius Travis picked off the pass. Last year, these two teams went three overtimes. This year, they keep it in regulation, but it's just as dramatic. Minnesota wins 29-28. Their first win of the season, and they'll prepare for New Mexico State next week. But what a game. What an opener. What a first game for the head coach, Harry Kane Sr. The Gophers will definitely enjoy this victory before going on the road next week to take on New Mexico State in the second game of the season. And we'll see you guys then. Thank you for a great week one, everybody. A dramatic victory by the Minnesota Gophers. And we'll see you again in week two. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you next week.